Hey, hey, bonjour, bonsoir, buenos dias, buenas noches. How's everybody doing? I hope all is well on your side of the screen. All is well is over here. So guys, I am going to tell you guys a little something, something that is all over the internet right now. Welcome back to another episode of Some More Love Juice, y'all. So... I don't know if y'all saw the Oscars last night. I ain't really into it lately. Like, I don't be watching the award show, but I used to be on them back in the days. But I kind of I kind of slowed down. But anyway, you know, you got all them streamings and all these different shows. And on my other channel, Some More Love Real TV, I watch, like, certain shows and then I do recaps of them. So with that being said, we're going to talk about what's all over the internet right now, which is Will Smith. He is trending, y'all. And it's not necessarily because he won an Oscar, which was, I believe, his first time actually winning one, finally, you know, even though he's been such an outstanding freaking um, actor, but now it was overshadowed because he done B-slapped, pimp-slapped Chris Rock on stage, and a lot of people thought it was staged or it was just a little act, but no, it was real, it was official, all right, I'm gonna let y'all see exactly what happened, so that y'all can decide for yourselves how you feel. Let me show y'all real quick what happened, a quick little snippet, and then we're gonna talk a little more. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one, okay. I'm out here, uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. So yeah, y'all, that was the infamous slap. We gonna see it again, don't worry. If you missed it that time, I'm gonna show y'all again. But I feel like when you looked in the audience, they tried to laugh it off, both him and Jada. But this is something that she's been battling for quite some time. She did get on Instagram, she did a live, and she spoke about her battles with alopecia. And I did notice that her facial expression changed when she realized you know, kind of like one of those things where it sets in. The joke's on me. And now you realize also what the joke is about. You know, normally you can take a joke, but when it's about something that you've been crying about, something that you're insecure about, something that, you know, you've become an advocate for, it's no longer funny. And I can, I got that from her vibe. I'm an empath. So I definitely, you know, felt the vibe. I saw it. And probably once her husband realized and saw her facial expression, that's probably why he went to her rescue, I'm assuming. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of her just kind of talking about it so you guys can understand a little bit more. At this point, I can only laugh. Y'all know I've been struggling with alopecia. In a candid Instagram video, the actress and wife of Will Smith shows how the hair loss condition, alopecia, has left her with a big scar on her scalp. Just all of a sudden, one day, look at this line right here. Look at that. Look at that. And so it just showed up like that. I've been getting a lot of questions about why I've been wearing this turban. Yeah. Well, I've been having issues with hair loss. It'll be a little bit more difficult for me to hide. So I thought I'd just share it so y'all not asking any questions. So as you see, even in that particular Instagram post that had made it to, you know, a lot of different blogs and news and all that stuff that made it pretty viral, she, you could tell that this was something that brought her pain, brought her sadness. And it's one of those things where you kind of laugh so that you don't cry. I've definitely had those moments as, you know, growing up with insecurities and things like that, where I developed this mechanism where I would just laugh off the pain. You know, even if it hurt a lot, I would just laugh because laughing is so much easier or it was easier for me than having to get upset and lash out because when I get upset I get upset you know what I mean so it was many times where I would just do the uncomfortable laugh or just try to laugh at myself in order to not be upset about it not feel any type of way about it not allow myself to get angry about it so for this being something that was so much of uh, you know, something that was probably a trigger for her, I think that's why he kind of jumped in. 
And guys, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, definitely make sure you do that. Join the family, join the fun. Don't miss our weekly videos. And also make sure you turn on your post notifications so you know when they hit, okay? Because you never know when something's going to pop off. So now to get back to the whole situation, apparently there were two versions that were seen. One in America, where they quickly went ahead and censored everything and maybe went to a commercial break. I'm not sure. You guys saw it, not I. But then there was the other version, which Australia showed, which I will show you the uncut version. Definitely, I want to see what you guys had to say about this whole situation. Do you think that Will Smith was right? Do you think that he was in the wrong would you have done the same thing? I know when it comes to family, like I guess crazy and I probably would have did something crazy and then kind of regretted it in the end, you know, where he did have a moment where he cried about this, not just solely because of the award, which he'll mention, but because, you know, what happened, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of him. Will Smith just smacked the Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane joke. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> so some of the actors, they did try to console him after, you know, probably calm him down, give him words of encouragement. And he actually won for the first time ever. I believe it was the first time. And you see the love there and then he did talk a little bit about it um this is a beautiful moment and i'm not i'm not i'm not crying for winning a, an award it's not it's not about winning an award for me it's about being able to shine light on all of the people. In the end, uh, of course, the Academy did have to leave words to let them, the world know they don't condone violence so they don't get canceled. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, sometimes, you know, we lose our head and we want to make sure that the person, our, either our husband, our wife, you know, significant other, our kids you don't want to see them cry i mean like i said i got into some serious crazy situations <laughs> but I've, I've calmed down a lot um this was the west philadelphia born and raised version of will smith i guess you know <laughs> um for sure the one that we see on the new version of fresh prince of bel-air i'm assuming but yeah let me know what you guys thought do you think he was right wrong do you agree disagree let me know